Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth and good hope to all forever. Amen. Strengthen our Lord and our God, our weakness by your mercy, that we may celebrate the holy mysteries which have been given for the renewal and redemption of our weak nature. To the mercy of your beloved Son, O Lord of all, forever. Amen. Lord, who may abide in your dwelling and who may live on your holy mountain? With pure thoughts, O Lord, let me stand before your altar. He who walks without blame and does what is right, who speaks the truth from his heart and does not slander with his tongue. He who does no evil to his friend nor accepts a bribe against his neighbor. He who despises in the sight of the wrathful and honors those who fear the Lord. He who swears to his friend and does not lie and does not lend his money with interest. He who does not take a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things is just and shall never be shaken. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen and amen. With pure thoughts, O Lord, let me stand before your altar. Let us pray. Peace be with us. While the pleasant fragrance of our tender love embraces us, our Lord and our God, our souls are enlightened by the knowledge of your truth. May we be worthy to welcome the revelation of your beloved Son from heaven. There we will praise you unceasingly and glorify you in your crown church, which is filled with all graces and blessings. For you are the Lord and creator of all forever. Amen. Shuhala 
to our bodies, the good Savior of our souls, and the faithful guardian of our lives. It is right to thank, praise, and glorify you at all times, O Lord of all, forever. Amen. mighty and immortal who dwells and delights in his holy ones we implore you Lord turn to us forgive us and have mercy on us as always O Lord of all Father Son and Holy Spirit forever Amen. enlighten our thoughts our Lord and our God that we may be attentive to understand and savor the sweetness of your life-giving and divine commands grant that through your grace or mercy we might benefit from them the gifts of love hope and salvation for the body and soul and always sing a perpetual praise to you at all times O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, Baruchmar. May Christ enlighten you with his teachings. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach, until the day when he was taken up, after he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. To them he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking of the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You heard from me, for John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And when he had said this and they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. And when they were gazing into heaven, he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes, he said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heavens? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. And when they had entered 
they went up to the upper room where they were staying, Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the zealot, and Judas the son of James. All these with one accord, accord, accord devoted themselves to prayer, together with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Bless me, Father. May Christ enlighten you with his teachings. I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a deaconess of the church at Centuria, that you may receive her in the Lord as benefits the saints, and help her in whatever she may require from you. For she has been a helper of many, and of myself as well. Greet Fisca and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risk their necks for my life, to whom not only I, but also all the churches of the Gentiles give thanks. Greet also the church in their house. Greet my beloved Ephernus. Greet who was the first convert in Asia for Christ. Greet Mary, who has worked hard among you. Greet Andraus and Junus, my kinsmen, and my fellow prisoners. They are men of note among the apostles, and they were in Christ before me. Greet Amphilus, my beloved in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our fellow worker in Christ, and my beloved Statius. Greet Apelles, who is approved in Christ. Greet those who belong to the family of Aristobulus. Greet my kinsman Herodian. Greet those in the Lord who belong to the family of Narcissus. Greet those workers in the Lord, Tribolonian, Tryphosa. Greet the beloved Fer Parisus, who has worked hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, eminent in the Lord, also his mother and mine. Greet es Ascaronitis, Phlegon, Hermes, Petronius, Hermas, and the brethren who are with them. Greet Philogius, Julia, Naris, and his sister, and the Olympus, and all the saints who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. I appeal to you, brethren, to take note of those who create dissension and difficulties in opposition to the doctrine which you have been taught. Avoid them, for such persons do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites, and by fear and, by fear and flattering words they deceive the hearts of the simple-minded. For while your obedience is known to all, so that I rejoice over you, I would have, wi I would have you wise as to what is good and gallus as to what is evil, then the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you. So do Lucas and Jason and Sosperidon, my kinsmen. I, Tertius, the writer of this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, who is host to me and the whole church, greets you. Eretitus, the city treasurer, and our brother Cordus greet you. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret for long ages, but is now disclosed and through the prophet's writings is made known to all nations according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God be glory forevermore through Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us stand in preparation to hear the Holy Gospel.
Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to Christ our Lord. After this, Jesus went down to Capernaum with his mother and his brothers and his disciples, and there they stayed for a few days. And when Jesus had finished these parables, he went away from there, and coming to his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, so that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And are not his brethren James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? Are not all his sisters with us? Where then did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own country and in his own house. While he was still speaking to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood outside asking to speak to him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brethren are standing outside asking to speak to you. But he replied to the man who told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brethren. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. And as he said this, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that you sucked. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. For those of you who still don't know me yet, I'm Father Kevin, and I'm excited to, uh, to preach here with, for all of you this morning. Um, just to let you know, today we are, we are celebrating this Mass in honor of our Blessed Mother's Assumption. Even though her Assumption was yesterday, but because of the less Masses that we usually have more Masses, that we are celebrating this Mass in honor of her Assumption. So my homily is going to be about the Blessed Mother and how powerful her intercession can be in our life. I just wanted to share a few stories with you, with my experience with how much our, our Blessed Mother has really strengthened me and how powerful her prayers have been for me and for my family. So when I was, um, before I became a seminarian a long time ago, when I was going through my conversion, I, I was working in my dad's dollar store, and for many years I would just be working in, in the family business. And I had a customer come into my store, and this man, he loved Jesus so much. He had this intense love for Jesus. He loved to talk about him. And so whenever he comes into my store, you know, I get really, really happy because finally I have a customer that loves Jesus. And so, you know, I was so happy that day when he came in, he was talking about Jesus. I was like, I'm going to pray for you because that's how, you know, you know, he was so loving. And I was just like, you know, I want to do something for you. I'm going to pray for you. And so I didn't tell him this. And so as he was shopping in my store, what do I do as a Catholic? You know, I pray Hail Marys. You know, we pray the Hail Mary all the time. And so I decided to pray Hail Marys for him quietly to myself. And on my third or fourth Hail Mary, he doesn't even know I'm praying for him, he starts looking at my ceiling in my store, and he's like, wow, what is this peace I'm feeling right now? Where is it coming from? And when he said that, I was like, oh, I know where it's coming from. It's coming from Mary. It's coming from these little Hail Marys that I'm praying for you. And I know sometimes we don't always see the effect of our prayer. We don't always see the grace of what we're doing. We don't always see it. We don't always feel it. We don't always experience it. But these little prayers, even a prayer as small as the Hail Mary, has so much value for others and for ourselves, but we won't see it until we get to heaven, until we see it during the resurrection. And so that really inspired me to want to pray more and more when I saw that and God was giving me this special grace to where I can see like, wow, this prayer really is doing something in the world. It's really helping people. And so I began to want to spread the rosary more because I started really growing in devotion to Our Lady. And so one day I was at home and my brother wasn't yet, he hasn't gone through a conversion, kind of just like liked to play video games, didn't really, wasn't a bad person, but just like really wanted, he wasn't really involved in his faith. And so one day I really was just, I feel like I was inspired by God to really just get him to pray the rosary just one time. 
So I knocked on his door in his room and I was like, you know, just pray the rosary. I went in his room and I was like, just pray the rosary one time. And he's like, no, no, get out of my room. Get out. I don't want to just stop bothering me. And usually I would just take no for an answer. But this time, you know, he shut the door on me and he locked the door. And I was like, you know what, I'm not taking no for an answer this time. I'm done. You know, I'm gonna, you're going to pray with me or you're going to pray by yourself. You're going to pray this time. I'm not taking no. So I literally sat on the floor by his room door, his bedroom door. And I was, for 20, 30 minutes, just knocking at his door. Knocking and knocking and knocking. And I was like, I'm not giving up. I'm not going to leave you alone this time. Because I just really felt like God was trying to get me to knock on the door of his heart. Just like Jesus, how he's always knocking on the door of our heart, but we just ignore it sometimes and we're not praying. So the same thing, I was just being like Jesus and just knocking on the door until he opened the door. So finally, I annoyed him enough and he opened the door and he's like, what do you want? And I was like, just pray the rosary one time and I'll leave you alone. Just one time, just do it for me. And so it wasn't Tuesday or Friday, usually we pray the Sorrowful Mysteries. And I said to him, just meditate on the Sorrowful Mysteries one time. And if you don't know what the Sorrowful Mysteries are, they're Jesus' passion. They're his agony in the garden, his scourging, his crowning with thorns, his carrying of the cross, his death on the cross. And I said, just meditate on these prayers of Jesus' life through Mary. Pray these Hail Marys. Meditate on her life. Meditate on Jesus and Mary's life, and I'll leave you alone. So he's like, okay, I'll do it if you leave me alone. So he literally just sat in his bed, praying the rosary. One time I just left him alone to pray by himself. And when I came back, and to see how the prayer went, he actually, something happened to him because I could tell that he was startled. Something was wrong. Like, I could tell immediately something happened to, to him. And I said to him, what happened to you? And he, said to, and he said to me, I don't want to tell you. And being as annoying older brother that I am, you know, I kept bothering him, bothering him until he finally told me I probably shouldn't have done that. But he said to me, he said to me something that really just shocked me. He said, Jesus cried inside of my heart. He cried in my heart. And when he said that, I was like, oh boy, Mary, you just grabbed my brother. You just did something in him. And, and he realized how much Jesus loved him for the first time. Like, I need to turn my life over to Jesus. And so after that moment, my brother, who was like completely dead, completely lukewarm about his faith, completely didn't have a prayer life, just came to life again. He came to life. He became a completely different person. He started praying the rosary three or four times a day on his knees. He started praying more than me. He started reading the Bible hours and hours and just started going to daily mass. And I was like, wow, all I did was tell you, pray the rosary one time, and this is what Our Lady can do. This is what Mary can do if you're open to her grace to work for you, to help you. And so it really inspired me to really spread the rosary because sometimes we don't always see the effect in that way, but we have to trust in what the saints say. We have to trust in what our Blessed Mother says when she appears all over the world in Fatima and Lourdes. Mary is at the front line of the spiritual battle. She's not in the background anymore. You know, in the scriptures, she's in the background. She's humble. She's quiet. But really, after the resurrection and ascension and after her assumption, Jesus sends her all over the world to set the world on fire for her son. If you look at Mexico, why is Mexico Catholic today? Because of Our Lady of Guadalupe, over 70 to 80 million converted because she just appeared and left a picture of herself and 80 million people became following Christ. Why is Europe falling apart now, but the holiest places in Europe are at Our Lady of Lourdes in, in France, or in Portugal, in, in Spain. Not in Spain, I'm sorry, in Portugal, it's an its own country. She appeared there, and that place is on fire for Christ. So it's because of Our Lady, she sets the world on fire for her son. And so sometimes we preach the rosary like, oh, it's just a nice little devotion that old ladies pray. But really, it's not. It's a weapon. It's a sacramental that really fills our life with grace and we don't take these little things for granted. So I really ask everyone here to try to grow in this devotion because it's not a little thing that, you know, that we do. It's something huge that Mary wants us to do. When she appears, she says, please pray my rosary because it's how you meditate on the life of Christ, how you bring the gospel to life in your life. It brings it to life. 
So I just encourage all of you um, to grow in devotion to Our Lady. Um, honor her through the rosary. Honor her just by speaking to her from the heart, asking her to pray for you, to entrust your life to, entrust your life to her, because God the Father gave Jesus to her first, and we do the same thing that God the Father did. We entrust ourselves to Mary. Amen. Let us stand well with faith and hope, and let us implore and say, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Father of mercy and God of every consolation, we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. Our Savior, Steward, and Caretaker of all our needs, we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. For the peace and the harmony in all the churches throughout the world, we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. For our country and upon all countries, and for the faithful who reside in them, we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. For good weather, a fertile season, and abundance of fruits, and the restoration of the whole world, we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. For the good health of our Holy Fathers, Mar Francis, the Supreme Pontiff and Pope of Rome, Mar Louis, the Patriarch, Mar Francis, the Bishop of our Diocese, for all those who serve with them, we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. For our bishops, the preservers of the faith throughout the world, we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. For the healing of the sick, relief to the desolate, and all who suffer spiritually, we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. For our deceased and all those who pass from among us in the hope of the resurrection, we implore you. Lord, have mercy on us. Save us, O Christ our Lord, in your grace, and increase in us your peace and harmony, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Together, let us entrust our souls to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. To you, O Lord, Almighty God, we beseech and implore, fulfill your grace with us, and pour forth your gifts through us. May your divine mercies and love be for the remission of debts of your people, and the forgiveness of sins of all your faithful, whom you have chosen for yourself in your grace and mercies. O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, forever. Sabaru sabre bim Maria, bagre dem shiha, wad me yaqira al madbah kudcha, dahin ta wa rahin ta, kulan May Christ, who has sacrificed for our salvation and ordered us to make a memorial of his death, burial, and resurrection, accept this sacrifice from our hands by his grace and mercy forever. Amen. By your command, our Lord and our God, by your command, our Lord and our God, by your command, our Lord and our God, these glorious, holy, life-giving, and divine mysteries are set in place upon the absolving altar until the second coming of our Lord from heaven. To him be glory at all times and forever. Amen. May this sacrifice be accepted and sanctified by the Word of God and the Holy Spirit, and it may be for our help and salvation and life everlasting in the kingdom of heaven through the grace of Christ. In alam wa dham min alam min wamin Shri hao dawra rahma udihita Salao nirwe shayna bawritha Nima kulli amma min wamin Dukhran margi wargi salmat bahqat shah 
امكن دنساه وسد دثكلل اشلي وعل صورا كلهن عني ديك وقيم تشبح تاب شو حتقي منون We believe the Father Almighty, greater of all that is seen and unseen, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the firstborn of all creation, eternally begotten the Father, but was not made, true God from true God, one in being with his Father. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He took flesh and became man. He was conceived in the form of the Virgin Mary. He suffered and was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He died in the day and rose on the third day in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sat at the right hand. We give you thanks, O Lord, for the overflowing riches of your grace. For we are sinners and wretched, but through your abundant mercy you have made us worthy to serve the sacred mysteries of the body and blood of your Christ, as we ask help from you for the strength of our souls. With perfect charity and true faith, we celebrate your gift for us, and we raise to you glory, honor, thanksgiving, and praise, now at all times and forever. With you, with you, and your spirit. Shlamit maram tamshi haye, awadu illa marad haye. كل علم مريم وعي تتخاه بشلامة شكول وشلامة بروز وشلامة تكل علم مالي شلامة شو حامس قخطة لدمارا كيميا ولا شلامة شلامة In silence and in reverence, pray that peace be with us. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us, now at all times and forever. up your thoughts to you, God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, the King of glory. This sacrifice is offered to God, the Lord of all. It is right. Let us pray. Peace be with us. 
worthy of glory from every mouth, thanksgiving from every tongue, and adoration, exaltation from all creation is the adored name of the glorious Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit who created the world and its inhabitants in His grace and mercy, redeemed humanity through His love, and provided a wonderful grace towards mortals. To your majesty, O Lord, countless heavenly beings and myriads of holy angels kneel and adore, ministers of fire and spirit glorify your name. With the holy cherubim and the spiritual seraphim, they offer you praise to your lordship as they praise and glorify without ceasing and proclaim one to the other, saying... With these celestial hosts we praise you, O Lord. With these celestial hosts we praise you, O Lord. And we bless the word who is God, the hidden offspring from your bosom, who being in your likeness and the glory of your splendor, in the image of your substance, did not deem equality with you as something to be robbed, but emptied himself and took the form of a slave. He left us a memorial of our salvation, this sacrament which we offer before you. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread with his sacred hands, raised his eyes to you, God his Almighty Father, and gave you thanks and blessed. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup with his sacred hands and gave you thanks and blessed. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, the mystery of faith, which will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. We believe and confess. As you have commanded us, we, your humble, weak, and feeble servants, have gathered here to celebrate your great mercy toward us that cannot be repaid. For you have assumed our humanity so that we might live in your divinity, exalted our lowliness, raised our fall, revived our mortality, forgiven our debts, justified our sinfulness, enlightened our minds, and overcome our weak nature through the overflowing grace of your mercy. And for your help and graces toward us, we offer you glory, honor, thanksgiving, and praise, now at all times and forever. With all. Lord God Almighty, accept the sacrifice which we offer you for all your blessings bestowed on Our Lady, the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, to all the just and pious fathers who have been pleasing to you, to all the prophets and apostles, martyrs, and confessors. We offer it also for the Holy Catholic Church and for our Holy Fathers, Mar Francis, the Supreme Pontiff, the Pope of Rome, Mar Luis, the Patriarch, Mar Francis, the Bishop of our Diocese, Mar Ibrahim, and for all our bishops, priests, deacons, and religious. Yes, O Lord God Almighty, accept this sacrifice for all those who are in sorrow and distress, the needy and weary, sick and afflicted, for all the deceased who have departed from our midst, for this people who, who gaze and await for your mercy. Yes, our Lord and our God, may this sacrifice be accepted for all those who stand before your holy altar, hear their prayers, pardon their sins, and forgive their iniquities. Also for this country and its inhabitants, this city, and those who dwell therein, Surround it, O Lord, with a strong wall, and remove far from it, by your grace, all evil. And we also, O Lord, and we also, O Lord, and we also, O Lord, your humble, weak, and wretched servants who are gathered in your name and stand before you at this moment, 
We have received through tradition the example of your Son, while rejoicing, glorifying, and exalting, we commemorate and perform these great, revered, holy, life-giving, and divine mystery of the passion, death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In silence and in reverence, stand and pray that peace be with all. May your Holy Spirit come, O Lord, and rest upon this sacrifice to bless and sanctify, to become for us the pardon of death, the forgiveness of sins, the hope in the resurrection of the dead, and the new life in the kingdom of heaven. We all who have you. For this great and marvelous providence for us, we praise, glorify you without ceasing in your church. Redeemed by the precious blood of your Christ, with praise on our lips and radiant faces, we raise glory, honor, thanksgiving, and praise to your living, holy, and life-giving name, now at all times and forever. O Christ, the peace of those in heaven and the great hope of those on earth, fill the world with your peace and harmony. O Lord, especially in your holy Catholic Church, bring harmony to your church and state and an end to wars on earth. Disperse the nations that desire your war. Go and calm life. Purity and fear of God. Cleanse our Lord and our God, the stench and filth of our iniquity, with the sweet aroma of your pleasant love. Wash us of every stain of sin, O Good Shepherd, who searched for us, found us lost, and delights in our return. Forgive our debts and sins, those that we know, as well as those that we are unaware. In your grace and mercy. Amen. The grace of your mercy, our Lord and our God, draws us near to these glorious, holy, life-giving, and divine mysteries, although we are unworthy. We approach your holy mysteries, O Lord, with true faith. In your mercy we break, and in your compassion we sign the life-giving body of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. The precious blood is signed with the life-giving body of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. The sacred body is signed with the forgiving blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit forever. Unified, sanctified, perfected, completed, co-joined, co-mingled, attached, and sealed one to the other are these glorious, holy, life-giving, and divine mysteries through the revered and exalted name of your glorious Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, may they be for us, O Lord, for the forgiveness of our offenses, the pardon of our faults, the great hope of the resurrection from the dead, and the new life in the kingdom of heaven for us and for the Holy Church of Christ, our Lord, which is here and everywhere, now at all times and forever. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us, now, at all times, and forever. Amen. Let us approach, with fear and reverence, the mystery of the precious body and blood of our Savior. With a pure heart and true faith, let us recall his passion and meditate on his resurrection. For our sake, the only begotten of God took from humanity a mortal body with a rational, spiritual, and immortal soul. By his life-giving laws and his holy commandments, he led us from sin to the knowledge of the truth. After his plan of salvation for us, the firstborn of our humanity was tested on the cross. He rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. He gave us all his holy mysteries by which we recall all his graces for us. Therefore, with overflowing love and a humble will, let us receive the gift of eternal life. Let us participate in the mysteries of the church through pure prayer and deep contrition. With hope in our repentance, as we convert from our iniquities, weep over our sins, and ask mercy and pardon, mercy and pardon from God, the Lord of all, we forgive our neighbors their offenses. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. Let us purify our conscience from divisions and disputes. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. Let us purify our souls from hatred and hostility. 
Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. Let us receive this communion and be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. United in one mind and in harmony, let us receive the fullness of the sacrament. Lord, forgive our sins and offenses. Let these mysteries, Lord, be for the resurrection of our bodies and the salvation of our souls. And everlasting life. Let us pray. Peace be with us. Forgive, O Lord, in your mercy the sins and offenses of your servants, and sanctify our lips by your grace. Make us worthy, our Lord and our God, to always stand before you without fault, with pure hearts and radiant faces and filial confidence. From you, through the mercy you have given us, we call out together, saying, Our Trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Yes, O Lord God Almighty, you are good and Father, full of mercy. We beg you and implore the greatness of your mercy. No, Lord, do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one and his hosts. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the strength, the fortitude, and the authority in heaven and on earth, now, at all times, and forever. Amen. Shalom Amen. Amen. For those of you who are unaware, um, we will be receiving Holy Communion after the final blessing. May the gift of grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be perfected in all of us through his mercy. Forever and ever, amen. Brothers and sisters, the church calls us to receive the body of the Son and to drink from his cup in faith in his kingdom. By the grace of the Holy Spirit, we've all approached and participated in the reception of these glorious, holy, life-giving, and divine mysteries. Let us all together thank and glorify God who has given them. Praise to him for his indescribable gift. Let us pray. Peace be with us. It is always right, O Lord, it is always right, O Lord, and just at all times and proper at every hour to thank, bless, and glorify the greatness of your name. For it is in your goodness, O Lord, that you have allowed the weak nature of mortals together with the celestial spirits to praise your name, to take part in the words, and to raise up to your divinity the chance of praise and glory at all times, O Lord of all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, forever. Amen. He who has blessed us with every spiritual grace in heaven, he who has blessed us with every spiritual grace in heaven, 
spiritual grace in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord has given us his body and blood as a pledge of life that cannot be corrupted. May he bless our assembly. Protect our community. And purify our people. Who have come and have been renewed by the power of the glorious, holy, life-giving, and divine mysteries. And by the living sign of the Lord's cross, may you be sealed and preserved from all evil, both hidden and manifest, now at all times and forever. Oh, oh, oh. 